Hey folks, welcome back to the most non-clickbaity channel out there on YouTube. Um, just my own opinion. Um, I'll always stick by this idea of never clickbaiting people in, making up all these, you know, $1 silly scenarios. I, I don't, this $1 niche thing always gets me. It's like, who started the $1 theory? It's kind of like going into a shop and seeing something for 99 cents and then going... Yeah, I'll take it. And then seeing the other item next to it for a dollar and thinking, hmm, that's a little bit expensive. Anyway, let's dive into the update you will want to hear about. And sorry, it's a little bit late. I didn't want to put two videos too close together. And the second I posted the video, I went to check to see if the burn had gone through. Lo and behold, it had gone through. Um, and then I was just like, well, yeah, thanks. Really appreciate you. So as you can see, they have sent uh, 2.5, uh, just over 2.5 billion Lunar Classic B billion. Okay, folks, not million, billion. And um, it's no small amount. Okay, we all know this. You know, a lot of people, oh, it's, it's only 2.5 billion. You know, what's that going to do? But I like to weigh these things now currently on the simple basis of, you know, how much would that cost? How much is that going to cost to buy that much? And I'm going to let you know right now off of the exact current price that that is. You would think you can buy that much. You can't. Um, so put it this way. Oh, wait, sorry. Yeah, you can. Of course you can. It's a crazy amount. Not great with numbers. So you're talking six on just just over half a million Great British pounds. I say just over. It's not. It's it's six hundred k, um, which is a lot of money. I, I think that's around seven hundred k, uh, in dollars. It's not. <laughs> you know that's gone. That's never coming back. That's that's gone. It's done. It's finished. It's it's never coming back. It's been destroyed. Um, it gets destroyed almost instantly. We see the drop reflection straight away in the total supply, not the circulating supply, Jay. Uh, we see that drop straight away, and and the circulating supply is, you know, it, it's pretty good for what it is for what we've got out there, and you know, it's going well. You can you can see it going down, and every time Binance. It's done a burn. You see the big drops. So I know a lot of people are going to be upset and sit there and go, you know, it's not enough and we want more. But you need to sit there and say to yourself, you know, are, are any other coins getting this kind of treatment? No. We have a strong community and we've always voiced our concerns. And many people sat there and said many times, Binance are not going to burn their own coins. Well, they are. <laughs> and Binance are burning and even way 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 back in any June you know early June when I proved Binance was sending burns to the dead wallet way way back and that's what spurred on Lunk Penguins to be become created and we've come a long way and we need to take this as a huge win we need to make sure like I've been saying we need to thank Binance as much as possible this is just awesome and we can't take things like this for granted you know it's a lot of people will moan, but at the same time, like imagine not having this extra burn every week guaranteed on a Monday. So it's by the time the next burn from them goes into play, it won't be long until you've got more validators coming on board, providing burns. And then also all nodes, I think, are surely going to be burning maybe once a week or once a month. Who knows? We're yet to see um, how that is. And I don't want to be too intrusive and go over and start asking them too many questions. Um, that may not seem intrusive to you guys, but for some reason in my head, it seems a little bit intrusive. So going over to Crypto Bubbles, it is a casual day out there in the market, but we're not going anywhere anytime soon, it seems. It's just not the right chemistry, I think. I think you kind of like last time there was a bull run everything felt right it was just like it was one thing after another after another and all of a sudden you know we're on the euphoric level of the gauge and we should start seeing lots of projects coming forward us ourselves today testing our smart contracts on the um 
the test net, so to speak, and then using the faucets and doing all the different things you need to do when you're building a project like this. But I've always believed, you know, in this kind of community cost free burning sort of thing. But the more time that's gone on, the more I understand the need and the wants that the community do want to burn their own coins. A lot of people are burning their staked rewards daily. Um, I know loads of people that are doing this. They're always telling me, you know, Jay, I'm still burning my rewards, still supporting this movement. And, you know, I believe you guys should have a solid route and a safe route to burn coins if you want to. And I know people will sit there and they'll go, well, you know, there is a safe route, Jay. You have the burn address up. People can just send them automatically. But I, you know, I believe there should be a safer route and I've always believed this and I've mentioned this many times before that the community just wants to burn. You guys just want to burn and, you know, someone needs to provide some kind of safe route to do this for you guys where it's a little bit more user friendly, a system in hand, so to speak. But, you know, we're working on things here at the HCC factory. That's what I'm calling um, our group now uh, of devs and um artists is we're pretty much like a factory and we're working on so many different things we've got so many different ideas that i've had to get a huge whiteboard and now i've got things planned out you know we've got so many things happening so like this month is a crazy month you've got node nodes being launched you've got validators coming back you've got exodus launching you have got uh likely our project launching this month uh, the NFT project likely before the end of the month, if not the start of next month. I know that there is a possible, and don't hold me to this, but I think there is a possible on-off ramp being worked on inside a community. As to how fast they're doing things, I don't know. But if I was lead on that idea, I would be wanting to push that out quite quickly. And having an on and off ramp um, was you know, discussed way, 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 way back in one of my AMAs with Zardar. It's around an hour long. And he discusses about, you know, utilizing an on-off ramp. And then more people have said about it in spaces. But the first time I ever heard it was from Zardar. Um, and I've been trying to find which AMA that's in so I can, you know, uh, clip it and show it to people but the on-off ramp in itself is a no-brainer it's part of quite a lot of systems the ability to buy and sell um you know the governance coin on the system itself it makes total sense for us to skip cx's if we can and provide that and i put out a tweet uh today on a few other things uh that we need actually um, let me just brush over this quickly with you guys because i think it's yeah so things we currently need and i believe ust state ustc staking is one of those things because binance today have uh started i think ustc staking and it's three percent three percent i think maybe a penguin related theme just asking for a friend and then staking rewards possibly being subject to the burn tax to help tackle this issue of more coins being issued from the rewards pool than we're burning and a lot of people sit there and notice that the supply goes up quite a lot each day and this is literally rewards being drawn from the oracle rewards pool uh, we also need to think to our future of how we're going to fund the rewards pool and if we can't fund it we need to think about making kind of some adjustments to the reward distribution to help prolong the life of the OC pool so we can figure out what we're going to do to fund it. So guys, have a really, really nice Monday. Monday's are always great. Take this as a win. You know, tweet out to Binance, thank them. CZ's an awesome guy. He's really not, you know, no one else has what we have. And honestly, I can sit here and say to you, you know, other communities are jealous they're jealous and they want to replicate what we have built and that in itself um you know when people start to copy a movement it just shows you know what we're doing is working so guys stay safe okay i'm not a financial advisor beware of scammers doppelgangers anybody pretending to be me and we will catch you in the next one Shoo! damn i hit that mouse hard click then didn't i damn grandma catch you in the next one